Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy holidays, hope you're enjoying your time during the break and maybe you're on vacation right now. So I know I haven't been here in a while, but fifth grade has been very um, challenging and I don't really have that much time to do videos, but since I'm on the break, might as well. So today I decided I was going to do something a little bit interesting. Last year, I made a traditional gingerbread house, but this year I am making an Oreo gingerbread house. So I'm going to be showing you what I'm doing, how I decorate it, and all of that. So, I'm going to be using these peppermints, candy canes, and these trees, which I will tell you about a little bit later. And I'm also obviously going to use whatever is inside this box. Maybe, well, let's see what's inside. Icing. We have the cookies for the house. It smells amazing. Oreos. Mini Oreos. Gumdrops and these little candy things. So I'm going to start building now and I'll see you later to show you how I decorate. Five minutes later. So I finished the building and here's how it looks. So now we're going to get on to the decorating. I was thinking of making it look kind of like how the box did. And what the box did was they put these gumdrops on the top of the roof. So I'm gonna start with that. So this hollow this year, I went to this thing called the Sudden Lights, and it was really cool. And there was a bunch of lights for like six miles. And also, I decorated my beautiful tree and it was amazing. It was so fun. So now I'm gonna do the roof. I got this other icing. It's technically made for cookies. And this is a gingerbread house, which is a cookie. So it makes sense. So I'm gonna do the roof and show you how it looks. Seems like the frosting is stuck. So here's a life hack. If your frosting ever gets stuck and doesn't want to come through the hole, use a toothpick and just do this. And it releases the frosting. Yay, it's working. So, yeah, that's what I've been doing this holiday. Nothing much, really. And this year, instead of having a plastic tree, we went and 
got a, a, a real tree that's alive. And it was so cool and it smells amazing because we got pine cones and we put it underneath the tree and now the tree smells like pine cones. But yeah. So I hope your holiday has been as fun as fun as mine. And I hope that this gingerbread house is gonna look great. And did you know, fun fact, this is only the second gingerbread house that I've ever made. Oh, and I also have something to tell you guys about what I'm gonna do with this fancy roof. So you see, in the front, I'm planning on making it look like there's snow dripping down from the house. And sadly, that's not gonna happen to us this year because it seems like here in America, the snow just does not wanna come. And it seems to be that way for a lot of places here. And it's really sad because I was hoping to see some snow, but there was no snow. But it's fine because snow was really cold and I don't really like the cold. But I also don't like the heat, but it's not hot, so I'm fine. It's actually very cold outside but yet it still doesn't want to snow. Anyways, here's what I've done so far. I made, I just continued with the pattern that was already on the roof. And so I'm gonna continue doing that. And I had this wonderful idea and by wonderful idea, I mean this idea was on the box, that I can put these, these candies inside of those little holes that I make. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. A little longer than a few minutes later. So I'm almost done with the last row for the icing on the roof. There, finished. This is how both sides look. This is the chimney. I put some snow on the chimney. And so now, as you can see what I did right here, I'm gonna start putting candies inside the holes of the roof and yeah, so that's what we're gonna be doing now. This is a very time consuming project, I must say. So if you wanna do this, then make sure to either have a lot of time on your hand or make, or you're okay with doing it on separate days. I'm actually going to do mine on separate days, so I'm going to stop after doing this candy and I'm going to do the rest tomorrow because this is very, a very long and time consuming thing and I am kind of a perfectionist so it takes even longer when you're a perfectionist perfectionist like me because you want it to look perfect even though it's probably not gonna look perfect oh my gosh. anyways this part of adding the candies doesn't actually take that long 
I've only been doing this for a couple of seconds and I have already almost done two rows. So this part at least won't be that much. Anyways, um, so just so you know, in case you ever make this Oreo gingerbread house, it does take a while, but in the end, it looks nice, it looks different, and I think it's gonna be amazing. Anyways, here's how much I've done so far. And, yep, I have done about, I have done almost three rows of candy. And I will come back when I'm done. And see you tomorrow. Bye. 24 hours later. It's the next day and I finished my roof. Let's take a look. This side, I decided just to do some random colors for the candies on the roof. But this side, I made it in rainbow order. And I also changed a few things on the top of the roof. As you can see, I put some mini Oreos. They used to be only gumdrops up there, but now I, made, I put mini Oreos there too. And while uh, I was gone, I also made a snowman out of Oreos, but I will show you that later. So now I'm going to move the camera so you can see what I'm doing when I do the front yard. So this is the front of the house. Here's the wreath, well soon to be wreath, the windows and the door. So I'm going to start decorating now. Oh, and one thing I forgot to tell you about, there's a little pathway down here. So I think I'm going to start with this wreath. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a mini Oreo. I'm going to put some frosting. And I'm just going to stick the Oreo on top. Well, actually, I'm going to stick the audio like that. So, maybe you've noticed, but I've been using mostly the cookie icing that I got myself for most of this project instead of the one that came with the gingerbread house. Mainly because the this frosting gives more details and the frosting that came, I kind of made the hole too big, so it's kind of hard to do these small things. Okay, um, I think that should be good. I'm gonna do the windows now or maybe I should do the pathway no I'm gonna do the window oh. my frosting and my icing is getting low but luckily I bought another one so I'm gonna continue doing what I was doing Ooh. a little bit messy over here but it's fine this is a gingerbread house and it's supposed to be messy so I'm done decorating the front of the gingerbread house as you can see I've added some snow on top of the roof and I put a little wreath in the front of the house, it looks like we're going for a candy cane theme. I added a little light up here. 
and I put some Oreos and these Oreos kind of look like Mickey Mouse and so I also added a, two ledges made out of this thick part of the candy cane on these windows and little fake plants made out of um, peppermint candies and a pot with mini, mini Oreos. I also used the round part of the candy cane to make the door frame and some gumdrops to just add a little bit of decoration. So now I'm going to go on to the back of the house. Um, so I finished my house and here, here's how it looks. I'm showing it to you from the back to the side and then the front. Both of the sides look the same, by the way. So the front, I mean the back, I went for like a green theme. As you can see, I have a wreath right over here and a little curtain over my window. And now you can see what I did with this tree, these trees that I got. And I put a little blue doorknob on my door. And so now I'm gonna show you what I did to the side. So I made the windows red and white and put the candies on the roof as you saw earlier with the Oreos and my little chimney has an Oreo on top of it too. Now as we go to the front, you can see I did a little, I, I did a red-ish theme over here and I also added this snowman made out of a big and a small Oreo and I added a little bit of detail to the door. I made the door out of the round part of a candy cane and I kind of made the wreath look like a candy cane too. And I also put ledges on the window that were made out of the stick part of the candy cane and a tree. And so that's all I did for my beautiful gingerbread house. I hope you liked it and don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Bye guys!